Well, uh, this is the suspected murder, the suspect, the murderer, and the father at a police headquarters at Fremont State, he called Obama Bia. We are here for a world press conference. And uh, he has been paraded here by the police. Well, um, as you can see, the boy doesn't even look bothered. I think the young man uh, is brimming with confidence. And it doesn't even look like something terrible happened. 
Uh, I think it's uh, a daredevil kind of look. You know, he's very young. A 20 year old boy with the heart of a devil. And as you can see, honestly speaking, the confidence in the look is very ridiculous. Uh, Okay, okay, please. Good afternoon, men of the press and uh, CLO. Good afternoon. Please, you cannot stand there. Please, 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 please don't please. just shake him up. The chief. Hmm? Make I take his voice then. Yeah. Drop it now, drop it before it starts dropping. As you rightly say, we have a journalist and CN, and so we have this number. The essence is just to interact with you. So this an interface will be discussed. Take it easy, bro. All right, <laughs>
Sorry. Gentlemen, are we good? Yes. Say good afternoon. First men, members of CNO, ladies and gentlemen. It has become expedient and necessary for us to have this press conference because of the recent happenings and what we have been seeing on the media. For the past three days, there has been, I will call it rumor, that has been going around that the prime suspect, Frank Edward Akpan, in the murder of Niyobong uh, Kumore, that he has committed suicide in police cell. They even gave details up to the essence that he used his trousers, I, I don't know anywhere in the world where suspects are put in the cells with his trousers, that he committed suicide, he's even a trousers to tie his hand himself. I've been inundated with several calls from all over the world. As if police decided to bungle a direct case of murder. And that's why we have decided to call for this press conference so that you can see him. The man who is said to be dead is sitting down here, and maybe you'll be able to interact with him too. It's most unfortunate that the social media that is supposed to be an advantage to the police as they are to the citizenry has become a tool that is being used to vilify even the police and the government. It's most unfortunate. You all can see him, he's seated here, he's not dead, he's very much alive, ill and heavy. Well, you can recall that this whole incident started with the job uh, Umore was seeking to have from Appen. And unfortunately, the, the holding went sour. The case was first reported as a case of suspected kidnapping. While on, on the trail of the so called kidnappers, they went, uh, ICT people went into the media because Instagram was used to facilitate their meeting. And at the end of the day, Pictures of Frank and the father came up, and the DPO who ran the mission swung into action, arrested the father. By this time, Frank had escaped from the house through Oro uh, to Calabar. Some of his relations, knowing fully well that the father is a bit ill, came to speak about the father to say, let them assist. The DPO, and who happens to be the SP, that one David Wooden is claiming is a police officer who conspired with Frank, was brought into the picture and he, uh, he joined the, the cousins to call him and talk to him to come back because Frank kept denying that, he, he first denied that he did not even see the girl at all, but later he said he did not know anything about the girl. He, he was convinced by the DPO and, all, and the cousins to come back and he came back through Oron from Calabar and he was brought to the police station eventually. At this point, he was still denying. He kept denying. And at the end of the day, under serious questioning, he broke down and confessed to having killed the young girl. This made the case to change from anti kidnapping to homicide de department, which investigates murder. Immediately, he led police officers to the scene where they saw the shallow grave and his, the body of the deceased, may her soul rest in peace, was assumed. It was obvious that there was a struggle. I'm not surprised that Frank said, okay, he had kind of knowledge of her at the point, but I'm not surprised there were marks of violence on her abdomen and part of her head, which resulted in the death. The body was taken up and sent to the mortuary for autopsy, and autopsy has been done. Uh, I'm sad to announce that the body has been committed to Mother, Mother Earth today. Yes. They have sent to the so phone. 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 At the end of the day, the social media has gone gaga with a lot of stories. It's even said that uh, maybe uh, Frank belongs to a group of uh, ritualists or people who harvest body parts 
to sell. Uh, we all know where he was arrested. He does not even have the facilities to keep body parts because if you want to harvest body parts and sell, from my little understanding of uh, medicine, it must be kept under some condition. So such things don't, don't exist there. And it was said that a lot of uh, bones, a lot of uh, shallow graves were found in the compound. Which investigation has not found to be so. And that's why I, even when I appeared on Arise Television, I asked the person who wrote that which bones, many divine bones. At the end of the day, the investigation is still ongoing. We are not foreclosing anything. I will urge Nigerians, instead of going to the press or the media, with unclarified or funny information, they should pass it on to the police. Police will investigate. We are still open to find out if it is true that Frank belongs to any body harvesting uh, organization. It's open to, we are open, the investigation is open. The case file will eventually will go to DPP and eventually the uh, justice will take its course. It is pertinent that we should mention all this so that people are not misled. A, 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 a discrete investigation is still ongoing. It's at its uh, almost at its concluding stage, but we never close investigation until we go to court. So I'm still saying I'm appealing to members of the public: if you have information on this issue, you don't have it. Open to it. Frank is here. Frank is not there. His father is by his side there for complicity, after, accessory after the fact. And at the end of the day, we believe justice will take to this course. Thank you very much. Okay. We're going to take questions. I'll give you three questions. Three. We so can do and go. We'll give you access to also question them and listen to the story of Frank so that you can get it right. So we'll take three questions. Take mm -hmm. and move. Mm -hmm. okay. From here. Okay. okay. You're going to be one. Who is going to be the next person? Uh, You're going to be two and you are going to be three. Okay, we'll take four. One, two, three, four. You are the first to have raised your hand. So let's hear from you. Now, you were, please, can you come this way? Madam, please, excuse us from there. Thank you. Stand here, stand here so that we can see. The Commissioner of Police Appointment. My name is Tony Edson. I report for Planet Earth. There was a story about um, other shallow graves within the premises of the and then uh, later on, we cited you on, on my TV, the CIG, where you dismissed that thing that okay. there was nothing like that. They would like to see for seven. Well, let me answer that immediately. We are police officers. We don't base what we do on rumor. We were at the site. Police assumed the body. If there are shallow graves there, the particular grave, the particular shallow grave that the nearborn was placed in was not more than two feet deep. And such a thing, we all know, even if you bury a goat two feet deep, after about 48 hours, the stench will not even allow you to, neighbors will know, somebody must know that something has happened there. I saw a BBC uh, video. Things that look like uh, holes where they dug up yam as we are, are referred to as uh, shallow grave. There are no shallow graves anywhere. There are no bones anywhere. That is the truth. Uh, but if anybody can show me any shallow grave there, if you can show me, but I know there are no shallow graves. We went through the ground properly. Thank you. Let's have the next question. The cause of death has already been ascertained by the autopsy. It has been ascertained, and at the end of the day, by the time file and charges, you get to you get to know it all. I want to tell you one thing. The police has nothing to gain by covering anything. We are not covering anything. I have never met a friend before. 
He's a young man. My last child is even older than him. So I have no business. This is a murder case. We are talking of a human life lost. I cannot conspire, conspire with him to, 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 to the school investigator in Nepal. It will become the way it is. And we are going to report it as it is. Thank you, sir. Yes. yes. As it is, sir. My name is Isaac Jebara Delita. Last week, the next time uh, the House of Representatives urged the Inspector General of Police to bring the case to Postal Quarters. Yes. Why is the suspect in your custody despite the suspect? It's a straightforward case. It's a very straightforward yes. case. My, my headquarters have asked for a report, which we have done. We are Nigerian police, uh, police officers. Uh, there is no difference between the officer in post CID and state CID and even in the division. We all had the same training. Mother is mother. The same principles guard the investigation. Uh, they have not asked me to transfer it after I have sent the report. If they ask, it's even still open now. But the IG, in his infinite wisdom, did not find a need for it because at the end of the day, we are on the right course. Yes, please. Yes, sir. No, we are no, done. No. We are done. Thank you. We will now listen to the first session. The city, the city has its closing remarks, but we are done with this. Don't go further. Don't go further. And we appeal to Nigeria that rather than going to the media with information, Please inform the police what you have so that we can analyze together and get to the root cause of the matter rather than this. Imagine saying that uh, the man has committed suicide. I have received more than a thousand calls from within Nigeria and outside Nigeria saying that the man has committed suicide. Meanwhile, he is alive. So, if we should not have peddle, we should not peddle rumor. If a matter is happening, uh, is only being investigated, or there is an occurrence, please get close to the police, inform the police, fill, fill, fill us in with your information. We will work on it. As I'm speaking to you, the investigation has not concluded. We are still going on. So if there are if there, you have any information, please let us have it. Assist us so that we will all arrive at the same justice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you. We cannot talk to you. If you can shift back up, just go. Uh, then, then no, you are So, please, I just wait. Just be patient with us. Please, I just wait for us. Are you If we will keep quiet, we will get this done in the next segment. Okay. Go in. If you have questions, you see, you are open. Somebody can give you. I would love to ask him, but let me be as if I'm asking questions for you. So we will take two, three questions and we are also out of here. If you allow us. Okay, so who throws the first shot? Sabi. Let me go inside. Let me go inside. Let me go inside. Let us arrange this as well. Wait now. Let us get it well. Wait. Wait now. Wait. Wait now. I thought that we were together. Why did you kill her? Look at the camera. Owen. Turn the number. Turn the number. It was not intentional. Who went to that? Who went to that? The audible. The audible. What do you mean? What do you mean by self defense? What do you mean by self defense? Who went? Look at me, doctor. Go ahead, doctor. Okay, Frank. Please be audible. Tell us what happened. Not really. Just give us. Let us know what happened on that day. Then the audible. The loud. What happened was that she came for a supposed job interview, which I used. Reverse psychology on her. I asked her whether she can work in the farm. We are not talking. I asked her whether she can work in the farm where hard drugs are kept. I asked her whether she can work in the farm where hard drugs are kept as a secretary. And she said that she can, that she's ready to do the job. So when she came, I revealed to her that this farm doesn't exist. There's nothing, there's no farm like that. It was just a hoax. Let me put it that way. So, I, then 
Kaya. I told her that before she leaves, that I would like to have sex with her. And she agreed. But she gave a condition that I should use a condom, which I did. And uh, in, while I removed the condom, she became furious and she took the nearby stabilizer to hit me on my head. And then she beat my left my left ring finger and tried to reach for the hole. You know, screaming, tried to reach for the hole. So while I was bleeding, in a bit to stop her, I used the stabilizer to hit her. And when I hit her, she fell and started bleeding. Then, then, then after she died. So where did she hit you? On my phone. Where is the wound? What did you do? You don't have and how come this you said she agreed to have sex with you and use a condom and then all of a sudden she started to attack you how did it happen i said that while i was about removing the condom she became serious why did you want to remove the condom yes why did you want to remove the condom you you injured her on her head what did you use to hit her? The same thing that she used to. At what point was she screaming for help? When I tried to become a But you did use only stabilizer, you used something else. Say it was. Okay, that was for an iron, pressing iron. Where did you use to hit her? Where did you hit her? On her abdomen, that's why she was fighting. The only way I could stop her was no hand. Which hand? Was she your first victim? Yeah. No. So how many, how many, how many people have you killed in that in that process? Killed. I've not killed anybody. Say the one I've killed. Oh. You say she was not your first victim. How many victims have fallen? How many girls? How how many have, have you done that to? Way? Whether they died or they did not die. How many so far? The same reverse side. Yeah, yeah, how many? How many? Whether reverse or reverse? About six. What of that NYSC shoes do you have? Uh, the NYSC shoes is a shoe my mom used when she was in NYSC that we used for family. <coughs> the shoe is just for family in the house. It's not, it's not a copper shoe. It's not as if a copper came out. How did your father insist, assist you in this case? He did not assist me. Do you live in that house? So who, who, who helped you to bury her? Did you hypnotize her with any substance? No. Is the number of exercise books and textbooks are in that compound? Who owns them? Those, 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 those books. Who owns them? Those textbooks. 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 Sisters. There are what several are names on them, out? none of it with your own name. Who are those people? Those names are not no, your name. Several name. names. Different names. There are no different names on them. Absolutely if, if, there if, are. You open, if you open them, you see either my name or my sister's name. How, you how about the red gown? The red gown in the room. In the room. Who owns it? There's a red gown in the room. In, in one of the rooms. Yes. Why did you go into it? What's your level of education? I'm a, I'm a university student. What class are you reading? What level? Which level? Did you go to university? What subject? What course? What, 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 what level? Public administration. What level? Yeah. How old are you? 20 years. This was your relationship with Kufre Fion. Kufre Fion is my cousin. And how did he help in this whole thing? You called him on that day. What's the subject of conversation you had with him? Uh, that was when I was coming back from Calabar. Because initially in the morning I went to Calabar. So while I was coming back, you know, to submit myself to the police, he was the one that picked me up together with the DPO. What's your conversation with him? What were you discussing? Now, how do you feel about what has happened? Hello, dear. My conversation with him was very short and simple. He texted me the when I arrived with you. So I called the DP of Iran when I arrived with you. And then I met with them and they picked me. They picked me in the uh, Where did they pick you? Shelter Junction. When you kill her, why do you go and dock a, a grave to Olibera? 
Why not take it to the police or report to the police that Jumper has died in your house? Uh, I was very scared to do that because I thought maybe the whole scenario would be suspicious too. So in the end, what was your motive? Before you, you yeah. asked her to come to get the job, what was the motive? What, what was in your mind initially? Initially, I, I used the best psychology uh, because uh, I've had very bad experiences with Zeros Hills and Zeros Tubes. So I used the reverse psychology and I, I asked her when she can work in a farm where hard drugs are kept and she accepted she will uh, so I felt that, uh, that, that that's the best way to prevent on prostitutes and girls. Have you been patronizing prostitutes? No, I, I used to. Now, how do you feel about what you thought? What you thought before the whole world? How do you feel? Uh, I'm not happy about it, uh, but I believe that uh, the commissioner of police is working with his men and was the father around when this incident occurred? Your father, your father, been not there when this thing happened. No, he wasn't. How about your sister? Is she involved? Are you remorseful? Are you remorseful of this? Yes. But you don't, but you don't sound and and look remorseful. You said if you don't, you said justice should prevail. Now, if that justice means taking your life, taking your life, will you, will you readily agree? Yes. Yeah. Were you in love with the girl? No. So what is your answer? Okay, I think we have done this. I'm also only advising young people. What is your full name? Yeah. 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 You say, let's speak with the father. Can we speak with the father? Can you advise young people? Can we speak with the father? 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 Okay. Yeah, can he say touch that with him? Sir, please, sir. What's your name? What's your name? Where are you from? Please, we don't have business here. Leave, I beg. Where in Oran? Please, let's keep quiet now. Were you aware of what your son I wasn't aware. I'm not happy about it. it has it's fine. I can't get him. Please get him. I wasn't aware. So at what point do you, do you know about this incident? At what point? Uh, when um, I was asked to recall him, when I, a police came to my compound, checked the compound, they didn't say anything. So I was invited to come and make a statement at uh, the Uran police station. I did. So I was asked to call him immediately. And I called him back. So when he now arrived, uh, I was allowed to interact with him. He told me that he did something wrong and that he's sorry. I was blaming him. Why do you do this? We have a, a half, you are not the only child. I have two other children and they are women. Um, they are graduates. One is finishing, one is just starting. Uh, if uh, anybody does this to your sister, do you like him? He said no. Uh -huh. So he, he was very. Were well, you in the house when this is I wasn't in. I went to town. So is that your house, sir? Yes, it's my compound. Do you live there? there? Yes, I it is reported that nobody has access that ever had access to that compound. That, that is always so locked. It's no, always locked. That is not true. That's what the neighbors say. That is not true. Well, that's what we have. We have a, a bowl in that house. All the people in the street get straight water from there. We have uh, plenty of fruits and vegetables in that compound. We give out fruits free. So it's just unfortunate. Why are you aware that your son has been in family business? business? No, no, no. That you are involved. I'm not. Involved. He said he has had, um, he has taken advantage of over six girls, and you never for one. Not, and you stay in that house. I'm not aware about that. Uh, the reason is, is I just relocated. We just relocated from uh, Abuja. I've not been around for 30 years. We've been living outside here. So we just relocated because I've been retired. So it's not up to even two years we fully relocated. So where do you retire from? Uh, as what? Uh, okay, from the ministry. Which ministry? Ministry? Ministry. Federal ministry of Health. As? Uh, my Direct position? Yes. Okay, deputy director. So um, once in a while, some other official assignment take me out, even though I've retired. Like, uh, for instance, the health records uh, of Nigeria, you know, the village of that, uh, our parasite, the cause of supermanism, so that's what takes me out. 
then um, if I'm not around, my other children that yeah, are also around, again, especially during holidays, they are absolutely. So, the information goes in that uh, initially you were arrested. Why do I still in search of your son? Like, no, did I, you give information to the police? About yes, very bad of yes, 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 immediately. I said, Ubrak says he's going to Kala, but they now say I should call him. So I called him back and he came back. It was when he now came back that uh, uh, they now asked me to go. And so they now say they are going to interrogate you. Everybody is asking for justice. And what we tend to understand by justice in murder case is the person should die. You also request for that justice. Well, um, I, I, you know, it depends on the system. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy about what my child has done. I don't even believe this can happen to me. After I, I send them to school, try to bring them up, yeah, justice can be done if uh, the system so permits. Your, your, your son says, Kufre Fion played a very integral role in his arrest. He also said you call him back to Calabar, from Calabar, which one should take? Your son said Kufre Fion asked him to come back. You are now telling us you yes. called your son to come from Calabar. Yes, I called him now when, when I was asked to come and make a police st uh, statement. In force. You know they brought a uh, phone, showed me two pictures. So, who among these women? I said, ah, this is my son. So as we're going to police, they say, we, uh, since he has gone to die, I should recall him. I called him. And he... With your number? Yes. It's record of the number. Dialing his phone over the past. No, call, I didn't call. I didn't, I, I didn't call his number. His phone was off. I called his Where? sister. As soon as we got around. I thought you said he called his sister. How did you call him? You called him. 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 Sir, who is pulling on to you? Trey Young is the uh, son to my brother, one of his sons to my brother. Uh, this, uh, this is my only son. How many children do you have? I have three. three. Sorry, can we get him again? Frank Rockman. Oh, yeah. Frank Rockman. Frank, that's how I'm... Full name. Yes, Frank. Oh, like, I'm going to go into... How many years old are you? Organ, organ, organ uh, harvesting. No, no, no. But, but no, no. it has been rumored that you've traded the business for years. Okay, gentlemen, thank you. We are done. Carry on.